Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Now my sister Sandra and I are going to do a steampunk challenge. So we both have one of these and Sandra's challenge to me is she loves steampunk items and I have to steampunk this one and she's going to steampunk hers. So what I'm going to do for my little steampunk challenge, I've got this little steampunk owl. So I'm going to try and cut that out and put it in, hide it in the glass. Now I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's it's worth giving it a little try. So all you do, all you do is you just cut out the piece that you're going to use. I'm just cutting off that little frilly edge. Now my, my machine is well used so don't worry about that, but I'm not. Now I'm going to put it glitter side down. Now you do have a very smooth side because this is a piece that was stuck to the plastic. And then you've got your glitter side that's nice and glittery as you can see. So I'm going to put that face down like this. Then I'm going to put my little owl on. And then I'm going to put the little baby one on. I'm just going to see if I'll cut it out. It, it either will or it won't. It's just going to fit nicely there. I've got these Sizzix Thinlet Cogs. I'm going to put some of those on. I'm just going to see what ones will fit on and what ones won't. Now I'm going to top it with my other board. I'm going to put a little piece of paper in just to give it that little bit, make it a little bit tighter. Now you will hear cracking and popping so don't worry about that. So let's see if this will work and just go back and then I'm going to run it just through a couple of times. I'll just take my little shim off. Now very, very gently just pop them out. And there we go, there's our little cog. As long as you don't make this too thick, you should be able to cut it out with your dies. So just imagine all the beautiful things you can cut out with this glitter Mod Podge sheet. Now it's not glitter paper, it is just glitter and Mod Podge. If you can see that. Now let's see if these ones are cut out. So I've got myself an elastic band. The elastic band is going to give me a nice clean edge when I put my Mod Podge on. I want to keep a rim so that you can drink out of the glass. And I'm going to put my little steampunk owl here so you can see him when you take a drink out of the glass. Got some tacky glue. 
Now tacky glue dries clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tacky glue all over my little owl just to make them stick to the glass. Just gently push him around if he's not in the right place. So there we go. So that's a little steampunk owl on the glass. And you'll see him from the inside when you're taking a drink. So I'm going to set that just to dry for a few minutes so I'll go and get the rest of the things that I'm actually going to stick in there. Now here's the other little pieces of cogs and things that I'm going to stick in beside this little owl. Right now I'm going to set that aside just to dry for a few minutes before I put the rest of the Mod Podge on. Now I'm going to cut myself some pieces from the gold glitter Mod Podge that we've made. When you're using a die cutting machine, you always get the best pressure on the edge of your wheels. So that's why I'm putting it up at the edge. And I'm going to run it through a few times. I'm going to fit my cutting plate here, try not to move any of these dies. And I'm going to put my paper shim back in. So we're just going to give it a little few turns through this machine just to make sure that we can get it cut right through. I'm going to put Mod Podge on all this part of the glass and then I'm going to glitter it. So I'm just going to put some Mod Podge right over the top of all of this. I've got myself a big tub here and I've got my glue, my glitter. Now I buy my glitter from Victoria Street but just look on eBay or Amazon. Now this one is brass, it's holographic. I only ever use holographic fine, ultra fine glitter.
you can still see the little owl inside. Now, the Mod Podge will dry clear, so we will see that little red owl in there once the gold dries in. And then that's a little goblet. So I'm going to set it aside to dry for a few hours. It needs at least two hours or so to dry. Now I've had a little bit of a filming disaster. When I was putting all these extra cogs and things on to the glass and my glasses and all my extra pieces, I actually thought that it was filming, but it turned out it wasn't. This stuff here, up here and here, is this. This is just a sheet that I got at the range. It was only a pound, 99 pence actually, I think. So I just cut a strip off it. It is on sticky back. It's on sticky stuff. But I did glue it anyway just to make sure that it was going to stick. I took some dials from a clock pieces of dies that I had. I've put these little glasses on here, it's like little Harry Potter glasses. I just popped them on, they're actually from a doll. I've put some screws and some bolts on. These are just cut from gold card. I've punched them out with my hand punch. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit, if I can. And there is our little hidden steampunk owl just inside the glass there. Try and turn it that way, see if you can see it a little bit better. So that's that just hidden inside the glass there. And when you take a drink, you'll be able to see that. On the back, I put another little owl and I put some more dials and some more pieces of cogs that's in here, you can see those. If anyone wants to know how to make the glitter sheets, if they just leave a little comment, then I can easily do a little tutorial for that. Thank you all for watching. I'd also like to thank all my subscribers and anyone who is watching a video for the first time, then please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And then you'll get a little notification of any new projects that I do. Please feel free to leave a comment. Any questions you want answered, I will answer them. And if there's any other tutorials that you would actually like to see that I maybe haven't tried, then just drop me a little comment and I'll see what I can do. See you all again next time. Now here is Sandra's steampunk glass. These are some of the items that she used. She painted her glass and then she just popped on all her little items. Now here's her little video. It was filmed with her phone, but I think it's an absolutely fantastic glass. And I think we both did a fantastic effort for our very first steampunk glasses. So please feel free to leave your comments. Bye!